Beyond the Badge is brought to you by the Edina Crime Prevention Fund. What we're out here today doing is our annual ice rescue training. A couple inches on the shore and then you get out there and there's some open water in some areas so you could actually fall through it. So now's the perfect time to get out and do it. So the Mustang suits are a cold weather dry suit. They're very buoyant and they also keep you uh, dry and warm. Time is of essence, so we're usually gearing up in these suits on the way to the call. We have to reach the victim as fast as possible. They're not able to grab onto anything. They can't swim out of it. It's very slippery and then it's extremely cold so your body starts shutting down. You lose dexterity and your cognitive thinking starts to decline pretty rapidly at that point. As they're going, they're, they're kind of evaluating the ice as they go. They attach a tether rope to them, and then they got a rescue rings, uh, flotation devices. It takes a lot longer crawling than walking, so if we can walk across as fast as we can to that point where they fell through, that's what we're gonna do to get there faster. They're not able to, to follow commands or do anything we really want them to do, so we gotta do pretty much everything for them. So we get the flotation device on them or just get in the water ourselves and get behind them and, and keep them up out of the water. And if we can, we'll pull them from shore. Just because it's a lot easier for us to pull them across the ice. You know, ice is very unpredictable and it's at different thicknesses at different spots and that's just not for ponds or lakes but it's also for pools and backyards and things like that. You know just keep a distance from the shore. The potential is always there every day. 